and welcome back to the channel. I'm Kachi, a certified electrician who has ventured into poultry farming. It's, uh, it's been a while since we last made a video and uh, that's partly due to uh, an experience which we are having in Zambia currently. It's really hard to find uh, broiler chicks uh, for rearing. As you can see, uh, in my chicken house today, we do not have um, any uh, birds at all because currently the market is um, it's quite hard to find chicks on the market at the moment. I'm uh, planning on um, doing a video on the current shortage of chicks which we are currently having in Zambia. I plan on uh, calling four of the major suppliers in Zambia just uh, to find out what is going on and what is causing this current shortage. At the moment, if you were to, to make a call or to visit um, any outlet uh, uh, for these suppliers of uh, day old chicks, you'll be told that uh, the orders have been closed maybe up to the end of June, meaning you cannot order any chicks until up to the end of June. But that is not why we are making this video today. Uh, today we are talking about uh, temperature. One of the major challenges which we, we are facing um, in rearing uh, chicks in this season is that of uh, temperature uh, because it's really cold at the moment. Here in Zambia we are in the cold season. It's not just Zambia, I think uh, it's the whole Central and Southern African region which is um, currently in the cold season and uh, we have maximum temperatures of up to maybe 24 degrees Celsius during the day and uh, temperatures can drop up to maybe 7 degrees Celsius during the night. Because of these conditions, most farmers are, fin are finding it hard uh, to rear broiler chickens as you know broilers need um, some specific conditions in order for them to grow in a certain way. So for those of you who are watching this video and you do not know uh, the temperatures at which these birds are supposed to grow, let me run you through them. So on the first day when you get the birds from the suppliers, your chicks are supposed to find the temperature, the chicken house should be at a temperature of 32 degrees Celsius. That means that uh, before you bring in the birds, you are supposed to prepare your, your chicken house to, to receive the chickens whereby it's uh, somewhere at 32 degrees Celsius. And uh, people use different methods of heating the chicken houses. Some use um, charcoal and others use electricity, while it has become common for some to use gas. Whatsoever you are using to heat your chicken house, you definitely need to keep the temperature at uh, 32 degrees Celsius. And you keep the temperature at 32 degrees Celsius for the first uh, two days. That is uh, from day one up to day three. The temperature has to be maintained at 32 degrees Celsius. And um, from day three up to day five, you are supposed to reduce the temperature by one degree, which will come to 31 degrees Celsius. From day 5 to day 7, you reduce again by 1 degree. Uh, the temperature has to be at um, 30 degrees Celsius. From day 7 to day 9, the temperature has to be at uh, 29 degrees Celsius. And um, from day 9 to day 11, the temperature has to be at 27 degrees Celsius. From day 11 to day 13, uh, the temperature has to drop to 26 degrees Celsius and from day 13 to day 15, it has to drop to 25 degrees Celsius and uh, day 15 uh, to 17, the temperature has to come down now to 23 degrees Celsius. From, day, from that day onwards, you have to maintain the temperature at um, uh, 23 degrees Celsius. So in this video, we are talking about how you can keep that temperature 
from the first day you have it. The first um, two weeks is called the brooding period. So in maintaining that temperature, you are helping the beds to grow at a certain rate. Make any mistake with those temperatures and the beds will not grow as they are expected to grow. So it's very important that uh, you regulate the temperature. Now, like um, you've heard me, the, the temperatures are very specific. And these ones I've given you, they are general for all broiler chickens they can wait. But depending on the supplier, you can consult your supplier to ask uh, the temperatures for the birds so that they grow to the maximum potential of which they are supposed to. Now, in so doing, um, you're supposed to have some equipments in order to help you to monitor the temperature in the house because you cannot uh, monitor temperature simply without any instruments to help you in that regard. So I recommend that you get yourself uh, a digital room thermometer. Uh, not the ones which are used at the cleaning to measure the temperature of people, but these are specific uh, thermometers which are meant to measure the temperature of um, an environment like a room. So you get one of those and it will help you. The other thing that you can use to, to help you in monitoring the temperature of uh, the chicken house is simply uh, observation. You, you look at the chicks in the chicken house, it's too bad that we do not have chicks, but you can observe that from chick behavior, you can tell to say, okay, this is too hot and this is too cold. The thing about temperature is that um, if there's little temperature, and the temperature is low in the chicken house, then um, the chicks will use the feed they are eating instead of using it towards growth, they'll convert it towards energy so that they keep themselves warm. And if it is too hot in the chicken house, the chicks will start punching in order to lose some of that energy. Either way, either of the scenarios is bad. So you have to regulate the, the temperature so that the chicks are, have a conducive environment for growth. For those who are using charcoal for brooding, uh, you agree with me that charcoal emits some gases, uh, carbon monoxide, and uh, there's also carbon dioxide which is formed. So you have to balance up between uh, heating the chicken house and also uh, getting the gases out of the chicken house. Now, this is uh, irrespective whether you have a big chicken house or you have a uh, a small chicken house like I have right here, you still have to manage and um, keep the chickens warm and also provide the air that is needed. The chicks will need clean air in order for them to grow again. So you have to balance that up even as you are regulating the temperature, you still have to make sure that there is clean air which is coming into the chicken house. And then the other component which we should not neglect is the component of uh, the litter or what in other different people use different types of litter. But for those who do not litter, uh, this is the litter we are talking about. Uh, some use wood shavings, some use uh, maize brand, whatsoever you are using. Just make sure that you keep the litter clean and dry at all times because uh, Apart from absorbing the droppings of the chicken, uh, the litter is also there to provide warmth for the chicken. So you might provide um, the heating that is required, but if your litter is wet, it will do you a disservice even as you are trying to rear these birds. So it is very important that you ensure that there is clean litter in the chicken house. So. That's what I wanted to talk about in this video. Thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Thank you.